How about we define a basis for a topology? Let's go over a couple of examples. In this example, first let's define the basis and then we talk about the topology generated by that basis. Let B be the collection of all circular regions we are just interested in the interiors of the circles in the plane So our x is equal to our Cartesian product with R or our plane. Does this collection satisfies the two conditions for being a basis? Okay, let's check. Very good. Remember that the very first condition says, let's write it in a different color. The very first condition says, for each x in x in the space given to us, there is at least one basis element like B, containing X. Okay. So take any point in the plane. So suppose you have a point in the plane, x1, y1. We can find one circular region, at least one circular region containing that point. That can be the center in the center of that circular region. That makes sense. So it is easy to find circular regions containing the point. So the very first condition is met. What about the second condition? The second condition says if x belongs to the intersection, of two basis elements, like B1 and B2, then there is another basis element. Like B sub three containing X, such that B sub three is included in the intersection of B1 and B2. So this is also easy to see. Again, if you have a point in the intersection of two circular regions, the first circular region and then the second circular region, then definitely we can find 
another circular region, including that point, and it's included in the intersection of these two circular regions. So it is also easy to check that for the circular regions. So the second condition is also met. So what's the meaning of that? It means that beta as the collection of all circular regions. Again, note that we are talking about the interiors of the circular regions in the plane form a basis. So since you have a basis, you can generate a topology. Therefore, we can generate a topology. 